It felt eerily familiar to the night we learned Dale Earnhardt had died in a final lap crash at the Daytona 500. 19 years ago tomorrow, the biggest name in NASCAR hit the wall basically head on, died after an impact that seemed like to those in attendance and watching on TV a crash that would take somebody's life. It didn't seem like a crash that would do that. The impact into the wall on February 18, 2001, it created significant trauma when his head whipped violently forward. I was there that day, and it was a complete surprise to most of us when news broke that Earnhardt had died. The fatal crash led to rules changes regarding the safety of the driver. Most notable was the addition of the Hans device, which keeps the head and neck in place. Also, they added softer walls, which allowed for some cushioning and violent impacts in the future. In tonight's crash, it was the worst case scenario, according to race winner Denny Hamlin. Racing has become safer than ever after that Earnhardt fatality, but Hamlin said that once you go airborne, all bets are off, and the contact with the driver's side door is where there is the least amount of protection. Now, here is an interesting note. There have been no deaths since those safety precautions have been put in place after Earnhardt was killed at Daytona.